Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part 7 of the same chapter and that we will see the chapter innings. So the first question that is the filling the blanks. So here they said the square of an odd number is always an odd number. Suppose now if you write here 3 square, so that is going to be 9. So this 9 is an odd number. If we take 5 square, so that is 25. So 25 is also an odd number. So if there are n even number of digits in a perfect square, then the number of digits in its square root will be n by 2. So in this one, they have said 35 dash dash are a Pythagorean triplet. So you know the formula for this one that is 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So for the Pythagorean triplet. So here, now this is 35 is given. So we can consider that m square minus 1 is 35. Suppose we, if we take, so m square will be 35 plus 1. This will go that side. So m square is 36. So m is going to be 6. So here if m is 6, so what will be 2m? Because we have the formula 2m that is m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So 2m is going to be 2 into 6 because m we got as 6. So that is going to be 12. And if it is m square plus 1, so that is going to be m square is 36. And 36 plus 1, that is going to be 37. So here we already have 35. So this is m square minus 1. So here this is 2m and this is m square plus 1. So they are the Pythagorean triplet. So now here, 100 square minus 90, 99 square, what will be that? So here this is in the form of a square minus b square. So you know the formula for a square minus b square is a minus b and a plus b. So a is what? This is square of it. So a is going to be 100 minus 99 and 100 plus 99. So 100 minus 99 means that is going to be 1 and 100 plus 99 that is going to be 199. So 1 into 199 the answer is going to be 199. If you, if you do 100 if you take 100 into 100, then that will be 10,000. Then minus 99 square. So instead of that, you have to follow this formula. So that is 199. Square root of 14641 will have, that will have, that will be, that is going to three digits. We'll have three digits because this is a odd number. So that will be, how will you uh, do this one? One four six. This is whenever there is an odd number of digits. One two three four five. So what do you do? The number of digits plus one divided by two. So this is what five plus one divided by two is going to be three digits. So here now one by sixteen plus one by nine. I have done the calculation over here. So one by six. 16 plus 1 by 9 means you have to take the LCM of that. That is going to be 144. So 16 will be multiplied by 9 and 9 is going to be multiplied by 16. So here 16. So here also will be 16. So 9 plus 16 divided by 144. So 9 plus 16 means that is going to be 25 divided by 144. So root of one, uh, 25 divided by 144 means that is going to be 5 by because this also is a perfect square, this also is a perfect square. So 5 by 12, 12, 12 is 144. So the answer is 5 by 12. The natural number whose square root is 1, that is going to be 1. The least number that must be subtracted from 151 to get a perfect square. So now see here, 151 means before that the perfect square, that is the number is going to be 144. And after the perfect the square root, this is going to be 169. So what are you going to do here? This is 144 is going to be 12 square. And 169 is 13 square. That is 169. So what will you do here? 151 minus 144. That is going to be 7. 
and here 169 minus 151 that is going to be 18 so the closest is we have to see the closest number so this is here is the difference is 7 so what are you going to take here closest perfect square that is going to be 144 so what will you do here 151 minus 144 that is 7 so you are going to write here 7 now this is if you separate this one 225 into root of 64 so the perfect square this is going to be 15 into 15 is 125 so 15 square root of 225 is 15 and this is 8 so 15 8 are that is 120 so dash is equal to 5184 so root of 5184 is equal to 72 so when you remove this when you square both sides that is going to be 72 square so 72 square is 5184 straight further the following statements are true or false we can express 64 as a sum of any eight numbers so that is true 2.120 is a perfect square it's not a perfect square so that is false the square of a prime number is a prime number suppose the prime number if we take here 2 if we take the square of that so that is 4 so 4 is not a prime number so that are in many cases it will be now if we take 3 3 is 9 so 9 is also not a prime number so there will be many numbers so the product of two square numbers is a square number suppose we take two square numbers square numbers if we take two square into three square so that is going to be four into nine that is going to be a 36 so 36 is a square number so that is true 0 0.36 is 0 0.06 so whenever we have a decimal uh, 36 is a perfect square but now if we go backwards there are two digits but whenever we have a square root so that is going to be just one digit so it's not 0 0.06 but it should be 0 0.6 so it is false observe the following numbers and state with reasons which of this cannot be a perfect square so the numbers are given 2 3 4 8 0 5 4 double 0 2 these are the numbers given so you have to look at the units place digit and say that whether it's a perfect square and this one so there is a rule that whenever there is two seven or the ending number it has one zero so ending number has one zero so here can you see here the ending is just one zero so this is not a perfect square two this is not a perfect square then seven seven also this is not a perfect square so the e b sorry this one is a b and d cannot be a perfect square because number ending in 2 7 and 1 0 are never a perfect square find the square root of the following numbers using prime factorization method you know prime factorization method means you have to do this way so always you have to start with 2 if not with 3 4 and so on we, you don't have to go for the jump over to a bigger number so now you have to look at the unit space so this is possible with 2 again this is possible with 2 because this is 8 now this is 9 so not possible with 2 so 3 3 but then when you get 121 this will be only possible with 11 11 11s are 121 11 ones are 11 so whatever you get the these are the factors so 2 into 2 3 into 3 and this so we will make a group pairs so you have to write this only once this only once and this only once so it should be when you multiply that is 66 same here so this is not possible with 2 so we'll go with 3 again this with 3 so now 169 means it is only possible with 13 
so these are the factors so 3 into 3 so we will pair it so this will write once this will write one that is going to be 39 so here with 2 then here with 7 so these are the factors So 2 2 is a 4 and 4 7 is a 28. Again here 2 3 0 2 5 this is only possible with 5. Then this is 121 possible with 11. So these are the factors. So when you pair it that is going to be 5 and this 11. So this is 55. Find the smallest square number divisible by 8 15 and 20. So first thing you have to take the LCM first. So we'll do this way. So that will be 8, 15, and 20. So we have to go with 2 first. 2, this is possible with 2, this is possible with 2. So 15 will be as it is. Again, this will be possible with 2, and this will be possible with 2. 15 will be as it is. Again, this is possible with 2. This will be as it is. So now you can see that we will not jump over to 5, but with this we'll see for 3. So 3, 5 is a 15. So 1 will be as it is. And 5 will be again the same. Now this is possible with 5. This 1 will be as it is. So now you can see 1, 1, 1. So these are the factors. This is what I have written over here. So when you take the LCM here. So this is going to be 2, 2 is a 4, 4, 2 is a 8, 8, 3 is a 24, and 24, 5 is a, that is 120. So now what we can see when we pair it, we can see this only this is paired. These are not paired. So they are unpaired. So what we can say here, 2, 3 and 5 are unpaired. So to make it to perfect square, we have to multiply. Again, you need 1, 1 extra here. So 2 into 3 into 5. So that is going to be 30. So you have, the LCM is 120. So you are going to multiply this 120 into this 30. So 120 into 30, that is going to be 3600. So the, we can write here, so smallest square number exactly divisible by 8, 15, and 20 is 3600. Same here, 6, 9, and 15. So you will go with 2. So this is not possible, right as it is. Then we'll go with 3, because 2 is not possible. And here again with 3, this one as it is, 5 here. Then this one one right as it is five. So these are the factors. So that is we'll take the LCM. That is the this numbers this here that will be six, eighteen, ninety. So LCM is ninety. So now what you can do when when we pair it, only three is paired. This two and five are unpaired. So we can say two and five are unpaired. So to make it to perfect square. Multiply by 2 into 5, that is 10. So now this 90 and this 10, so that is going to be 900. So smallest square number, exactly divisible by this is 900. 14 and 15 and 35. Again here, this is not possible with 2, so we'll go with 3. So 3 only this is possible. This will be as it is. Again now here what we can see, this is with 5. And this 14 will be as it is. Now this is possible with only 7. 7 7s are 7 1s are. And again 7 1s are. So these are the factors. So this is a, we'll take the LCM here. 3 into 5 into 7 into 7. So here this will be when you multiply this you get 735. Now here what you can see that this is paired. This 3 and 5 are unpaired. So 3 and 5 are unpaired. So to make it to perfect square. You have to multiply by 3 into 5, that is 15. So in this LCM, 735, you multiply this by 15. So you get 11025. So we can say, so smallest square number, exactly divisible by 49, 15, and 35 is 11025. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel, so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.